so let's so, move on to our, our yeah our topic, topic four. We're we're yeah. I know we're way over time. It's okay. Oh well, it's okay. It's just gonna be an extra long cast this week. Um, so topic four. We'll, we'll probably whiz through these last two topics a bit, uh, but it's still stuff I, I feel like is important we get to, and uh, we're. <sighs> It's basically for those who haven't heard. Not if you follow us or you know any Nintendo site, you've probably heard of it. But uh, there is a Castlevania animated series that's like an R-rated series based on Castlevania Three coming to Netflix at some point this year with a season two already like paid for and coming out next year. Um, and most Netflix shows, most not all, but most Netflix shows and animated series are are usually really really good, like HBO level quality. Oh. Definitely, um, yeah. I haven't really found much for of actual Netflix shows that I don't like. Yeah, well, like at least the there's ones some, that there's some like The Ranch. Watched. Um, I think The Ranch is hilarious, but it also feels more like sitcom TV. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel like HBO. Yeah. Um, but then you have things like House of Cards, HBO man. Right. Or yeah, Stranger yeah, yeah. Things. Definitely, definitely. Stranger Things. Yeah. That feels like an HBO quality show. Uh, so like, anyway, so Netflix generally has high quality stuff. Um, more of it than not. So, um, Nintendo, there was a rumor way back about Nintendo doing a Zelda live action series of Netflix. It ended up not coming true or not being a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I actually yeah. remember um, that, yeah. So, it, it ended up not being true. But, this brings the question to my mind, is that Nintendo owns a lot of big IP. They used to do cartoons back in the 80s. Yes, that they did. There was the Captain Nintendo thing, there was Super Mario Show, uh, Zelda had a cartoon series run for a season. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... And granted, all this stuff was interlinked, so like it, it kind of all got muddled together. But you know, Sonic had itself. Now Sonic Boom is a thing. Well, Rabbids has a, has a show or yeah, had a show. I don't know if it's still. On, yeah, reruns are on, on all the time. Uh, yeah, on Nickelodeon. New, yeah, don't know if new episodes are. Um, well, Sonic used to be its own. So it's kind of one of those. There's a lot of talk about you know what should Nintendo do for a live action show? Should it be Metroid? Should it be Zelda? I'm like, okay, that's great. But why aren't we talking more animated series? Because outside of like Metroid, which which visually especially in like metroid prime leans more towards like a realistic kind of world most of nintendo's ip fits more into i don't want to say cartoon but it, but it fits more into an animated style to me yeah um and that's not to knock the, well, the super mario brothers movie i love that movie, <laughs> love that movie. I, I know he might I, be one of the few i know it's like considered one of the worst movies ever made i don't care like yeah. i love it yeah i still love it's been it. a long I time smiled, since i've seen that smiled when i was a kid i still smile today i do that stupid happy meal toy bomb mom thing like it oh. anyways um and and you got the the big spring boots or, yep. boots or whatever oh my god i i sorry i still think it's a fantastic movie i don't know why and you're gonna get flamed all the reasons <laughs> that you guys love mario is not why you're gonna love this sh- that, that movie but right. um anyways you can see i'm just beaming over here i love that movie so much uh so I want to know, like, should Nintendo seriously consider doing a bunch of animated shows for their their IP? Like, they, they've tried before, and it obviously didn't go well, because they got canceled. Right. But, like, should they I, seriously do it? Like, we're, this is 2017 now, man. Should, should they do it? They, keep in mind, they are now in, they now have a partnership with Universal, and they're doing theme park stuff. Right, too. yes. So. Um, I think it's definitely something to be explored. Um. But you have to make sure the quality is there. If you're not gonna put your heart and soul into it, don't. Mm-hmm. Just, just don't even th- don't even bother. But if you can get the right people to do it and actually put your heart and soul into it, I, I think it could be something that will work really well for them. Yeah. What I don't want it to be is what Sesame Street is on HBO. It's not good. Wait. It, it, yeah. Sesame Street's on HBO. Yeah, they bought it. They huh. own it. Interesting. It's not good. No. I, I can only imagine. And you're like, and, and we just got out, like, HBO makes high quality stuff. They yeah. do. Yeah. Like, they, but that's, Game of Thrones is I don't amazing. I really like, consider oh, HBO much of a kid's network. No, no they, they do a family channel. Oh, okay, okay, they do okay. A family okay. Um, <laughs> usually it's just like a, a group of like family, like high quality family movies. Right. But, um, you know, I don't know if they make a lot of TV. Most of their TV series are more towards just adults. But Sesame Street was like, oh, we have a family channel. Let's get a big, big name family show. Sesame Street died out. We'll buy all the rights to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Whatever writers, whatever they have going on, like all the puppets and stuff are great. It's just not a good show. It is not even remotely close as good as it used to be. Yeah. And this is on HBO where people are paying extra per month to have access to it. So it's right. like, yeah. It's like, it's not good. And that's the only concern. Is obviously you can't release something that's not good, and 
Netflix has that same thing going for them where um, the fact that this Castlevania series is on Netflix means there's a higher chance than not that it's going to be good. Right. But there's also worries about it, like the way the guy worded it, that uh, not, not necessarily that saying that it's rated R, um, I think that's just a way of saying that we intend this for an adult audience. And there's children. probably going to be like, a little like, bit of violence like if you in go it. to the children part of um, Netflix, this show isn't going to be there. It's not for right. them. It's yeah. for adults. Yes. Like, very adult. But, like, there's some wording he put in there that sounds really immature. And, and like, he mentioned that, like, oh, this is basically like the Game of Thrones of animated series. And it's just like, okay. do not put, like, you just basically said, this is literally the best show running on TV right now. We're doing an animated type version of it. Yeah, and it's like that could be like that you, could put you yourself in a don't hole. Don't put yourself on those like very like, quickly. Like like now it's like no one thinks that's going to happen. Everyone just thought it was cool, and now you're like, now you have to live up to something that is impossible. Um, Breath of the Wild has created a lot of expectations, but it created it for itself. Mm-hmm. It didn't put it upon itself. Um, now with all the delays, you know you can say that's added to to some of it, but at the end of the day, it's proving why. This, before we've even seen anything, not even like a splash page for it. It was just like a, like a, a footnote in Netflix's like report out there about upcoming stuff. Yeah, what's like coming a up. footnote. Yeah. So for the guy, one of the main guys behind it, to be like, oh, it's like the, it's like the, the Game of Thrones. It's like, ah, oh, dude, you do not name <laughs> drop. You do not yeah. name drop one of the best shows currently running and say that this is just as good, but it's animated. Like, yeah, no. So you that, let, you that, let that's the people the you let the people do that. Yeah, like Game of Thrones, um, Game of Thrones was a worry going into season one. Didn't know if it was going to be big. The people from the books were hyped about it, but how many book adaptions have actually gone well? right? No, definitely. Um, like you thought it had a higher chance because it was HBO, just like you think this has a higher chance because it's Netflix, but it's also a, a pretty good chance they're going to screw it all up. Mm-hmm. Like Legend oh, of definitely. the Seeker, I loved it, but it was not as good as the Sword of Truth books. Um, and it was different, and the ways that it was different, I liked because it reminded me of the old Xena and Hercules show. Okay, yep, um, yep. It was a lot like that, which is not what the books were like. So it's like, yeah, I understand why why it didn't stay popular because it wasn't as good as the books. But well, um, you got to kind of keep the same feel as the but, books. But, you, but it wasn't trying yeah. to be like the books. So like, so that's I was okay then, with it. I was okay with it. It wasn't like what the, what uh, Aragon the movie did compared to Aragon the book. Aragon the movie was terrible. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, so <laughs> so there's already going to be um, weird expectations for something based on a really old game, on, on a, you know, in a 16-bit era. Uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, like there's already going to be some funky expectations because you, you don't know what to, you don't know what to, to think about it. Right, and it, I, I, it's always kind of like me now, where with basically any movie that I go to, I always try to temper anything that I go into. I always try to temper my expectations because I know there's a definite possibility that I come out absolutely hitting it. Like I've been doing that with the Star Wars movies. Right, exactly. Like Disney took over. Disney has got this track record of doing some excellent stuff lately, especially <sighs> with like teaming up with Marvel and like all like right. they've done a lot of really good stuff. But there's they've, also things like Iron Man three. There's also things like yeah, where uh, they have Pirates of the Caribbean. Stuff up. I'm not even Pirates of the Caribbean three. I thought I thought Pirates of the Caribbean three just ran too long. Mm-hmm. But I think you know if, if they had cho- if they had cut it up a bit better, it could have been really good. Um, but you know, Dead Man's Chest and all these other ones after weren't good. And right. now. They have a new Pirates movie coming out. I know I'm going to a day one because I love the whole Jack Sparrow character. But my expectations are like... Right, exactly. Because, yeah, yeah. But their recent work with it has yeah. not been good. And so... But at the same time, then they, they do excellent things like Moana just came out. Right. So it's like... It, I, the, the track record is there where it could be awesome it could not be good. So it's like... It's better, I think, to go into things with low expectations and high expectations. And even like um, my friend Chris, he went and seen... Uh, Rogue One before I did, and I know he absolutely loved it, but at the same point in time, he did not want to get my hopes up, so he told me it was good. He it was uh, it was good, yeah. and that's all he wanted to leave it at. And we I went into it. it, and we saw it, and it was phenomenal. And after I came out thinking the same way he did, mm-hmm. that's when he opened up and said it because he did not want to set my expecta- expectations so high that I could not meet it, yeah. and I would be disappointed with it. Yeah. So. And, and, and that's a good way to approach anything. So, like, Nintendo, we want them, obviously, to explore this a little bit. 
at least. Try. Right. Oh, definitely. Like, 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 it doesn't to hurt another, to try. Try to get another Super Mario show out or whatever. Try, try to, try to get an animated Zelda show out there or whatever. Try, like, try to take your IPs and turn them into shows. Like you did some shorts with Pikmin on the 3DS that you, people can go download and enjoy, and they were good. You know, would that stuff be good in a half-hour segment or something? Maybe I don't know. Yeah. But it's like, just make. Oh, I'm sorry. Make sure as you know, someone who might desire this thing. Temper your expectations. I want this Castlevania thing to be amazing, but I don't expect it to be. Right. Well, especially now that he like part of me is like, oh he just named our Game of Thrones now. Oh, right. I really expect now it to exactly. Be, yep. No, now I expect it to be garbage. That's yeah. what I think because when you set the bar at that level, I know it can't hit that level. Right. This is an animated series for starters. You can't yeah. compare it to something like this. And this is based on a book, not a game. You can't compare it. Right. But he's doing it anyway. Yeah. So it's like, it, I ju- that just tells me that they have the bad, at- they have the wrong attitude going with this thing, which tells me this thing's going to be bad. So now I, it did have the the proper effect, I guess, to make me de hype for it. Right. But <laughs> at the same time, that's not the intent of that comic. No. That comic definitely not. Like, if you, do, if you think Game of Thrones is awesome, just wait till you see this. Yeah. It's like, yeah, don't yeah, put no. my bar at that level. Yeah, I, no. I'm yeah. refusing to let my hype get that high. Um, so I want Nintendo to, to look into it. I, I can't even begin to give them ideas on how to approach it. You know, like, I thought the Rabbids show was hilarious. Oh, yeah, definitely. But it still failed. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. Um, so Nintendo's trying to expand their IP beyond video games, um, which is why they got the Universal theme parks going. Uh, mobile. Which, <laughs> Wait, you know, well, which that's... is why they, you know, they're releasing on, you know, it's still games, but they're releasing stuff on mobile devices. Um, they have the quality of life stuff, which we haven't heard about for a while. They had some sleep monitor thing they, that we last heard they were working on. Um, you know, and, and Nintendo's always been um, caring about our health. You know, we fit, or you know, you're playing a 3DS game, and every now and then it says, "Hey, you've been playing for a while. Why don't you put it down?" And go right. Outside. Yeah. Go outside. Go um, outside, or just play, take your take your game switch, outside. Take your switch and with you. Play. Game as you go on a walk. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mixed messaging, Nintendo. Right. <laughs> no, I think they just they should continue to, to look into it. I don't know what they should do. Yeah, I know I, what I want. Like I would love a live action Zelda. I would love an animated one. I would right. love an animated uh, I've already brought it like Mario. I would love to see Metroid. I would love to see so many of the series brought to life in this way, um, but done in a respectful manner. And I don't think Nintendo themselves can do it, and I think that's part of the problem. I think Miyamoto, he directed the Pikmin shorts. I think they're really good at that short stuff that has no voice. Yeah. Um, yep. But like when we're talking about shows with talking characters, Nintendo needs to hook up with the right studio, whether that's Netflix or HBO or whoever. Right. They need right. to get like if they're gonna do, it, I want them to be serious. Right. It, it, I don't want them again. to be like, well, we're doing this in house and we're gonna Moto, attempt who to do this. Has yeah. never written a in, an in depth story in his life is doing all of the uh, text for all the characters and it's just like okay, Nintendo, your games. I'm, I'm outside of a select few like Fire Emblem. They generally are not that story driven. Right. So like, TV shows have to have a little bit of story, and it, you know if it's Mario, it's probably gonna be a little comedic. You right. You have the yep. right writers yep. for that. And, oh, definitely. Um, I I think as long as they can connect with the right people, it can work. Just don't come out and be like, yeah, you guys remember uh, SpongeBob? <laughs> this is the new SpongeBob but with Mario. Don't yeah, do no, that. Yeah, no, no. Because. Even if you cringe and you hate SpongeBob, it's undeniable that it worked. Oh yeah, definitely. It's I mean, it's still running. Getting new still, episodes. Yeah, it's like 15 years in. South Park is still running. Like these shows still run. They found their niche. Nintendo find your niche and hit it. Yep. Um, and you need to find the right people to do it. So and um, and go into it full heartedly because yes. it, you can't go into it half, yep. half hearted and and have it be successful. I, I at least I don't. That's my view on it. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So that's kind of it. Like, I, I don't want us to be like telling Nintendo what to do in this case until we hear something that hints towards them maybe considering it. Uh, and, and they have had like drop hints. Oh, you know, maybe we'll do something. But that's still. I, I want, want, want them to be like, come on, say, hey, we're going to do something, um, and then it's worth us, I think, having a conversation about what we'd like to see them do. Right. Uh, but I just want to bring that up just because I mean, this Castlevania it, thing just came out of left well, field. It's definitely Unexpected. an interesting topic, though. Unexpected, too. like Castlevania. Yeah. That's the game in an animated series? <laughs> Why not Contra? <laughs> well, this... Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, anyways. 